This is National Nine News with Peter Hitchener. Brindabella takes line on us after a three-day battle of the Maxis. The East Coast, it was clear that after more than two days and 600 nautical miles, only two boats remained in contention for line honours. Brindabella and Exile were less than three miles apart. While the calm conditions had no effect on some enterprising spectators, Brindabella's crew was propelled by memories of a broken mast which cost them the race last year. As the two entered the Derwent River, shadowed by one of the largest spectator fleets in the race's 53-year history, the gap had been narrowed to one mile, but that was enough for the race's perennial bridesmaid. Thousands had crowded Constitution Dock to see skipper George Snow erase bitter memories of past campaigns, thoughts of bruised and battered bodies, the legacy of 40 knot winds off the New South Wales coast were forgotten as the celebrations began. Great feeling, but we didn't talk about anything about winning until we got there because we know the river's always a big challenge. Cheers. Winners are grinners. Winners are. <laughs> After two second placings and last year's heartbreaking mishap, Brindabella's duel with exile up the Derwent River became a test of nerves, one which ended with less than 10 minutes separating the two boats. Exile's skipper Warwick Miller telling of nights spent bailing water from the 20 metre pocket maxi. You ask anybody in, on the boat, this is maybe the hardest hobart they've done because of the Friday and Saturday and Saturday night. The Brindabella crew sported scars of their own, but their captain has vowed to return to defend the title. The boat's still pretty good for a five year old design. So we'll just keep at it, make it go a little faster and maybe come back again next year and try and get the double. Nick Coe in